Good morning, everyone. This is Sheila. Welcome back. I, I hope you all are still healthy and doing well. Um, oops. This morning I was thinking of a quick project that I could share um, with you all. I made the, I, I'm calling this um, my scrap bag because I used everything um, from my scrap bins and things so you don't need to run out and buy things and all that stuff um, just use what you have so like I said I'm calling this my scrap bag and what <clears throat> I did was take an old um, piece of scrap wax paper I laid down wax paper on my table and I lay the paper down that I want a coffee dye and I use a spray bottle and I spray it so over time the <clears throat> the colors on this um, wax paper even this one this is parchment paper um, you can see the colors and this is after doing it over and over and over I used the same wax paper I don't know maybe ten times in just a I used to throw it away and I'm like why am I throwing it away you can make things with it so that's what this is made from a piece of that and I also made a tag and this is all scraps that I had laying around and here's a better look and I didn't do anything to the back so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today all right so let's lay that to side. So you could do this with any size paper um, that you have laying around. But for this, this measure, this one piece measures about six and a quarter by seven. So what I did was <clears throat> cut out the piece of paper, and from the bottom you want to fold about a, a quarter of an inch at the bottom just fold it like that and then on the sides you want to come in maybe like an inch on this side an inch and a half about or it could be an inch and a quarter let me see oops about an inch actually it's more like an inch and one two three four like seven eighths on one side and it doesn't have to be perfect perfect so then on this side you want to fold your other side and just cover like a eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch depending on the size bag that you want so now it looks like that okay so you folded the bottom up, then you fold one side in, and then you fold the other. And I think I did that. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we're going to glue. And this is where you have to be careful, because you don't want a nice... <laughs> oh my top of my pen came out came off time for another pen okay so be careful gluing because you don't want to glue your bag closed but put a little glue on the bottom on this side and fold that over Okay, so now on the left side, you're going to put some glue at the bottom, and then you're going to run some glue right here near the edge, but not too close because you don't want your bag glued closed. So put a little glue down the bottom here, and then run a little glue near the edge on the other side, and then fold that over. that okay so now 
on this bag I took my uh, decorative scissors and I just cut the top of the bag off either if you don't have decorative scissors you could like hold if you want your top edge to be all you know like you can not so straight I can't think of the word right now <laughs> but you could do something like that tear the top off or you can use the decorative scissors whatever you like I'm just gonna leave it like that then you also can use um, a punch and punch you know here the oval I'm not oval the half circle so you could do that you know there's so many different things you can do all right so now you can let this dry a little and then you can go ahead and start decorating and I just pulled some stuff from my scraps like that there okay <clears throat> I'm gonna put that there okay so first what I did was lay down some trim I'm just gonna cut a piece off this I got at Hobby Lobby if you um, interested it was 99 cents I love when they have those big sales where you can get a lot of stuff really cheap but that's where I got that from Hobby Lobby so I'm just gonna I'm using this Fabri-Tac glue for this because it sticks better than the glitter art glue. The art glitter glue. I said it backwards. Oh, wow. There is a piece of wire. I didn't even know there was wire in there. I just poked myself. I didn't even know there was wire. Okay, then I'm going to take a piece of this. This looks like cheesecloth, but it's actually some bandage. <laughs> I'm going to lay that down. Oops. I've been sitting here trying to think of some easy t projects to share because you can't get to the stores. A lot of places are still closed, so it's hard to get supplies. So I'm trying to think of things to come up with that you don't really need to run to the store. You know, it's just, I don't know. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> so I've been trying to think of uh, things to do. So I came up with this. Okay, so now I'm just like doing some layering. Okay, so then I had printed some of these. Uh, my cat is trying to get in here. Some of these decals. Is that what you call them? Images, decals. So I'm going to use another one of those. And I'm just going to go around the edge and rub a little on just to age that a little. Now I'm going to glue that down. I was having trouble with my camera. And I couldn't understand why it kept shutting off on me. And then I finally figured out something, the, the memory card, something was wrong with it. So I had to... What do they call it? Format it. And now it's working okay. Alright, so. Where did I. Okay. I have this little. Banner thing. That I'm just going to age to. It actually got st sticky dot things on the back, but I'm just going to glue it. And put that there. And then this flower. I bought these flowers also when it, they were on sale for, I don't know, like a dollar fifty-nine, And I coffee dyed the whole bag. That was an interesting project. 
All right, so now I'm going to dig for some old buttons here. I don't think I like that one. I'm going to put a button there. Now let's see. These buttons I got at uh, Dollar, Dollar Tree. Dollar, Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree. And, um... For a dollar, you get a whole bunch of buttons. I'm like, wow. Alright, so. Alright, so there is the front. I'm not going to do anything to the back. Okay, so now I made, I want to make a tag to go in my bag and when you make a tag to fit measure the width and the length so this is like a little like three and three eighths so I made my tag three and a quarter wide and then the just measured the length and this is like five and a quarter, but I want my top of my tag to stick out, so I think I did it six inches. So it will the, this top will stick out the top. So <clears throat> what I did to get this was use this punch board, this, and just put it in there. But <clears throat> you can use uh, rounded, you know, corners, whatever you like. Sorry. So that's what I did. So I I got a piece of scrap here and I'm just gonna go along the edges I don't think I did that with the other tag that I made and I'm gonna glue this down when you're making uh, tags or pages or whatever and you want to put decorative paper down I always go a, like a quarter of an inch less than what the base page or tag is and that makes it fit nicely okay so then I have this really nice typewriter paper oops scraps this, I forgot what pad this came from but I wish I could remember because I want to get another pad <laughs> all right so Glue that down. If you all have ideas for quick projects that you would like me to share with you, please comment below and I will see what I can come up with. Okay, I punched a hole and then I have this lovely we are memory I think it's we are memory I believe it is this little punch it punches the circle reinforce or protectors however you want to call it so I put one on each side just gives it more strength and I'm just using that scrap, but if you wanted to, you could punch out something prettier. But it's just what I had on hand at the moment. Okay, so. On this tag, I stamped this nice typewriter, vintage typewriter. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. I need another ink pad. Do you know Color Box Espresso ink is so hard to find? I think it's because a lot of people love it. And I absolutely love love it myself. I always wipe off my stamps.
yeah and it's so hard to find all right so then what i did was take another piece of that bandage and just glue that at the corner my fingers are so dry everything sticks to it then I took this ticket a ticket and I just took my decorative scissors and went around like that and I also inked the edges oops and I glued that down and then I decided just to give it a little pop of color I got these lovely tree uh, gel um, I guess they're gel stickers at the Dollar Tree so I just laid that down just to give it a little color I didn't do it on this cover I guess I could add something hmm maybe this one just to give it a little pop of color all right so how does it look now I, all I gotta do is add um, the twine at the top I didn't decorate the back of the tag. You can if you like, but I just left it plain. Trim this off a little. All right. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> there you go. And there you go. Very simple. So let me know what you think about the video, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask and I'll get to you as soon as I see them. Um, I check my messages daily, several times a day, in fact. And um, so, yeah, I'll answer them as quick as I see them. Uh, let's see, anything else? Um, yes, if you have any ideas that you would like me to um come up with you know like give me if you want to know how to do um i don't know a file folder tag or something i don't know whatever you like uh let me know and i'll see what i can come up with um i know a lot of people are new to junk journals and things and they feel intimidated by collage if you want to see some more collaging just let me know and we could do that also but anyway you have a wonderful day i hope you all stay healthy um please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber hit the like button share my video if you like and as always you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching